wolves. These majestic and often misunderstood creatures have roamed the earth for thousands of years, playing a vital role in maintaining the balance of ecosystems. Wolves are fascinating animals known for their intelligence, complex social structures, and strong family bonds. But beyond the beauty of these apex predators lies a deeper story of how they shape the world around them, both in the wild and in the spaces humans occupy. In this video, we'll explore the world of wolves, from their biology and behavior to the impact on farming, gardens, and the environment as a whole. We'll look at how wolves are much more than just predators, they're key players in nature's balance. Wolves live in a complex social group called packs. A pack typically consists of 6 to 10 wolves, though larger packs are not uncommon. Within these packs, there's a strict hierarchy that helps maintain order. At the top of the pack are the alpha male and alpha female, who lead the group and are usually the ones to breed. Their offspring, along with other subordinate wolves, form the rest of the pack, and each individual has a role to play. One of the most fascinating aspects of wolf behavior is their communication. Wolves rely heavily on howling, body language, and scent marking to convey messages. Howling can serve as a rallying cry to bring the pack together, or a warning to rival packs to stay away from their territory. <coughs> Wolves are apex predators, which means they're at the top of the food chain. They play a crucial role in regulating prey populations, particularly ungulates like deer and elk. This predation helps prevent overgrazing, which in turn protects vegetation and promotes biodiversity. One of the most famous examples of wolves shaping ecosystems comes from the Yellowstone National Park. In 1995, wolves were introduced to Yellowstone after being absent for over 70 years. Their return had dramatic effects, not only on the population of elk, which had grown too large, but also on the landscape itself. With fewer elk grazing along riverbanks, vegetation began to regenerate, leading to the return of birds, beavers, and other wildlife. This phenomenon is known as trophic cascade where changes at the top of the food chain trickle down to affect the entire ecosystem. However, wolves' role in the wild is not always seen as positive by everyone. Farmers and ranchers in particular have historically had, had a contentious relationship with wolves. Livestock depredation, where wolves prey on farm animals like sheep and cattle, has been a significant concern, especially in regions where wolves are making, especially in regions where wolves are making a comeback. While wolves naturally prey on wild animals, the presence of livestock in their habitat can sometimes lead to conflicts. To a wolf, a herd of sheep or cattle can appear as easy prey, especially when natural prey is scarce. This can result in economic losses for farmers who are understandably protective of their livestock. Fortunately, there are methods to mitigate these conflicts. Some farmers and conservationists have adapted non-lethal measures such as using guard dogs, electric fencing, or flagging techniques known as fladry to keep wolves away from livestock. These methods can be effective in reducing depredation without harming the wolves, offering a solution that works for both sides. While wolves are primarily associated with the wild in large open areas, they can indirectly affect farms and even gardens in rural areas. Wolves themselves are not interested in raiding crops or gardens, but their presence can influence other animals that might be. For instance, by controlling the population of herbivores such as deer, wolves can prevent these animals from overgrazing on plants and crops. Deer are notorious for causing damage to gardens, eating vegetables, flowers, and shrubs. In areas where wolves are present, deer tend to avoid certain locations, creating a natural balance that can benefit plant growth. This is another example of how wolves contribute to trophic cascades, benefiting plant life even on a smaller, more localized scale like a family farm or garden. On the flip side, if wolves reduce populations of natural prey, smaller predators such as raccoons, foxes, and coyotes might become more active in areas where wolves are absent, and these animals can target gardens or small livestock. It's a delicate balance, but overall wolves tend to contribute positively by keeping larger herbivore populations in check. Wolves have faced significant challenges over the centuries. In the past, wolves were hunted to the brink of extinction in many regions, particularly in North America and Europe. Fear and misunderstanding combined with concerns over livestock predation led to widespread efforts to eliminate wolf populations. Today, wolves are slowly making a comeback in certain areas, thanks to the conservation efforts and legal protections. In the United States, the gray wolf was listed as an endangered species under the Endangered Species Act in 1974. Since then, recovery programs have helped boost wolf populations in areas like the Northern Rockies, the Great Lakes regions, and parts of the Southwest. Despite these efforts, wolves still face threats from habitat loss, illegal poaching, and political debates over their management. Conservationists argue that wolves are essential for maintaining healthy ecosystems and their protection is crucial for biodiversity. 
Wolves are more than just predators, they are symbols of the wild, representing freedom, wilderness, and balance. They remind us that every species plays a part in the intricate web of life, and that removing one strand can unravel their entire system. Farmers and those who work with the land, understanding the role of wolves is key. While they can pose challenges, they also offer solutions by keeping herbivore populations in check, which can ultimately benefit crops, forests, and gardens. And for the rest of us, wolves offer a reminder of the importance of coexistence with nature, and we should care about wolves because their survival is tied to the health of the ecosystems we depend on. By protecting wolves, we're not just saving the species, we're ensuring the future of our planet's natural landscapes. Wolves have long inspired awe, fear, and admiration. They are creatures of strength and unity, and their presence in the wild serves as a reminder of nature's power and balance. Whether we're farmers, conservationists, or simply nature lovers, we all have a stake in the futures of wolves. By learning more about them and understanding their role, we can contribute to a world where both humans and wolves can thrive. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of wolves. Stay tuned for more wildlife content, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.